Hey guys, my name is Bablin and welcome back to a video. This is going to be my first educational video and it's going to be on the topic of dodging. So I decided to whip out my face cam or my webcam and, uh, you know, get my face out there since I am going to be live streaming this week, Thursday, October 20th on standard European time, 6 p.m. 1800 o'clock. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be playing, having a good time and I'm going to be trying to stream, get some experience with it. But today we're going to be talking about dodging and for that I have gotten the trusty Holland out since I think the Holland is a great line to play if you want, oh, sorry, the Holland is a great tier 10 to play or the whole line in general if you want to learn how to dodge. And these skills that you will learn in this video will apply to any ship class. It just depends on how slow the ship is, is at turning on how much you will dodge. So let's check out the first clip here. But before that, educational paint lessons with Bob. Enjoy. Hello guys and welcome back to Educational Paint Lessons with Bob. Today I have cheated a little bit and prepared a little painting for you guys. I, I hope you can see this is Shimakaze and this is me in my Holland. This is a clip you're about to see. What we see here is a Shimakaze who is going to shoot his torpedoes and if he, he wants to hit me he has to aim at the grey line. You guys know this. To dodge this it's very simple. You really all you need to do is stop and after that turn in like so because his torpedoes are going to go all the way across here and I'm going to be turned in and going this direction very simple I'm going to show you guys the clip now and I'm, it's going to make more sense so uh, let's check it out all right so here we are with the first clip and this is what I was trying to paint in educational paint lessons we're going to meet a shimikaze here in the sea cap and we're going to try our best to avoid his torpedo strike so the shimikaze is smoking up now, now remember he has three torpedo salvos, so we need to uh, torpedo launchers, I should say. So we need to see three salvos before we know he doesn't have any. So look, he's sailing in a straight line. He's not doing anything other than sailing. This can only mean that he's shooting his torpedoes. So I instantly reverse and turn in towards him. And soon you're going to see the torpedoes on my port side, my left side. And here they are. There's only one, two salvos. Now remember he has three. So we gotta see the third one before I know I can go in. And luckily he did shoot it somewhere over to the right and there it is, three salvo. So now we just hunt this guy down. So why do I think you should play the Holland over uh, something, let's say like a Daring? Well the Daring has smoke. And the, the Daring is way better at dodging than the Holland, but that just might make it too easy because this is a cruiser channel, right? We're, we're trying to play cruisers here. I think you should play Holland because it is a very forgiving platform to dodge on. It's easy enough to dodge. I don't even run maneuvering on mine. I uh, or steering. I only have acceleration. It has a lot of support. It can help the team. It can kill DDs, spot DDs, but it doesn't have a smoke. And that is the reason why I think you should play this because you will be forced to dodge because you need to get close to use your guns. So you'll be forced to dodge, and you need to do that in this game. I dodge in every single ship, even when I'm playing the GK. I'm trying to dodge salvos from other BBs by reversing my ship and turning it. So let's take a look at another example where I'm being hunted down by four enemy ships and their shells. And it's the exact same formula I'm trying to use against shells like I am torpedoes. All right, so here we are on the next clip, and we're just trying to finish off the Shimakaze here. Now this clip, we are going to be losing this game. And uh, the whole purpose of this clip is to show you how to dodge. And I'm, this is a clip where I'm going to waste as much time as possible while trying to avoid the enemy shells. So I'm playing with my teammate Nautilus from uh, my fleet. And we're both playing Holland. So it's a quite interesting setup. It, it's kind of fun playing double Holland because you just have infinite radar, infinite AA. And torpedoes almost, you know, on repeat. They just keep coming. So he goes down and my other cruiser will likely go down very soon as well. So it's just going to be me. We're still not detected yet, so we're going to keep our advantage of being hidden and, um, you know, try to stay hidden for as long as possible. But here comes the Shikishima and he killed my Henry, so now it's just me. So we're just going to do the same principle as before. The exact same principle. Reverse. When you when you see the enemy shell, the uh, flash from the, the muscle flash. You reverse your ship and you turn in towards the shells. There you just saw a Venezia salvo fly above me because I did that. Now we didn't dodge the Shikishima salvo, but to be honest, I'd rather dodge a Venezia salvo than Shikishima. Now Shiki can hurt, but he can also overpin. 
So there you see another Venezia salvo dodged, turned, and reversed. It's very simple. It is actually very simple, and it's easy to do in the Holland. Now, of course, if you're playing a bigger ship, for example, if you're playing the GK like I was talking about, I would still try to dodge. You're not going to be dodging every single shell. You're going to be dodging almost none of them. But dodging one instead of dodging none is better. I mean, you will try to preserve your health if you're you know, trying to win the game. That That's the whole gist of it. And especially when you're playing a DD or a cruiser. Now look at the Holland. It also has four heals. Um, you can't see that now. But it does have four heals. So that also makes it more forgiving. And if you do you know, mess up in your dodge, you can still heal it back most of the time. But this clip is coming to an end. And as you can see, the whole enemy team just got me there but we wasted a lot of time and cranked out a ton of damage just by keeping the guns active all right so here we are in a, another clip i wanted to showcase and this is just how important it is to understand how easy you can dodge torpedoes so this fletcher here he's rushing me and he's already sent one he's gonna go broadside i reverse my my engine turn out and he misses all his torpedoes now he can't do anything this is how powerful this maneuver is and it's very simple yeah, sorry, my, my dog. This is Arnold. He's a puppy and he, you know, he wanted attention. So he's going to be in this part of the video. But that was just a short clip of how easy it is to fight DDs. Even in a cruiser, you can do this. Most DDs just fire and forget and they don't even think that you can actually dodge. Even at close range, you have time. All right, guys. So here we are in a live game. We have a, quite a lot of ships that are dangerous. This is Friesland, more so. So we are going to do some dodging here. There's also a Minotaur and a Des Moines. So I will, I'm the, I played a game before this and nobody was shooting at me. So I'm kind of like, I'm hoping to get a lot of attention. I'm kind of contemplating just going down the middle and seeing how much attention I can gather to myself. Sorry, I just had to burp. All right. So puppy dog is relaxing. Now we can play. Okay. So some of the techniques i showed you guys are very basic and in this series how to cruise i that's what i'm thinking of calling it anyways how to cruise i'm going to be touching on like fundamentals something like this dodging map awareness uh target priority stuff like that and and then in the very advanced something i want to do later in a later stage when you know i've done we've built up to this you know more advanced educational level I want to do reload macros and knowing which, which battleships reload in which, you know, and how, how long the reload duration is. And it's very important. It makes your life so much easier in a DD or a cruiser if you know when a BB is about to shoot. For example, a Colombo, it's a very long reload. You just wait for him to reload and turn in the second he does. All right, so we send our torps. Looks like we're going to get some hits in the moss. So, man, he took a big hit by our CV. That was pretty nice, actually. So, there is a Fletcher right there. And we're going to open up on this Fletcher here. So, I'm hoping he's going to talk me. He definitely is going to talk me. So, once he spots me, at least, I'm hoping he spots me, right? There we go. There's his... So, we radar this guy. And now you see the Holland is just nasty. He's probably already talked talk me. So, I'm turning in already because... I can't know for sure if he's talked he didn't look like he was in a top angle, but if he was, you know, I I'm, I can't be sure. I don't play the Fletcher. I actually haven't played, you know, the American DD line. So now we got a Friesland, and Friesland can be pretty annoying. So see, I'm just turning away, turning away. He's missing, he's missing. Aircraft incoming. They're not going for me. I'm a Holland. And he swapped targets. You see, he didn't want to shoot at me. I'm not an attractive target. It's all about being an, an, as annoying as possible in the ship you're playing. Because if you're, if you're playing, you know, to, an, to annoy the enemy team, to waste their time, you're helping your team win. You see, we have all the caps now, and this, this team is pretty much done. The Marceau, hopefully, is going to run into my torpedoes as well as the Montana. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Marceau is going to go behind. So... You can see the torpedoes come in and salvos from Noir. So, oh no, Noir. <laughs> that sucks, dude. That really sucks. Yeah. Sorry. This Marceau is not dodging. This is why he's losing. He's not trying to dodge. He's sailing in a straight line. And as you can see, I can pretty much punish him, even though he is a very fast DD. Alright, we have a Des Moines on our flank. 
now we have this is a perfect opportunity to show dodging we're gonna be very close to this Des Moines and he can completely nuke me if I don't watch out here so what's he gonna do he's he's staying behind that pretty well Morso still shooting at me and where is this Morso? he's all the way out there wow okay so I'm gonna shoot my torpedoes this way and I'm actually gonna stay away from this Des Moines because he's gonna nuke me dude can I stay undetected here yeah I can all right so no flood no flood unfortunately I was hoping to see one but the Malta is most likely gonna run into my dogs. Hoping. all right so we've opened up now the Des Moines knows I'm here and I'm gonna try to take out this more so here before I get completely annihilated. So I'm gonna turn and go full broadside to Des Moines to hopefully scoop under his shells if he's shooting at me. I'm not even looking at Des Moines. I don't even know if he's looking at me, but I'm for sure gonna dodge actively when he's gonna try to go for me. That's the Malta. <laughs> did we just get a double strike? Okay, I did not expect that, but okay, this is going pretty well. Um. I don't know if I dodged that much, but it's it's a gameplay, right? Alright, so here we are again. One fingering, one one handing this Des Moines to death. With our superb Bofors guns. I mean the Holland's just a great ship, right? It's just one. If you guys have it, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's different, it's action-packed, it's it's a fun ship. So again, nobody's shooting at us for some reason. Um kinda of contemplating letting this Des Moines kill the Hakuryu so I can get, get shot at by this guy. But he's not. So fire and he's done. Can we get a crack in this game? Could that be a thing? Could that be a thing if the no the Hakuryu man he's gonna ruin it. He is gonna ruin it. So one there and one there and then we this. Oh yeah, he's dead. No, okay, no no cracking for me, but still a good game, nonetheless. I think we did get the MVP. Four kills and 55k. That's not a lot. So. Alright guys, this has been my first attempt at an educational video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. A lot of you guys, more advanced players out there, didn't learn anything probably. And this is also intended for you newer players out there. Um, I don't, I don't think my channel is going to be an educational channel, but I do want to make videos on some of the tactics I use that I think improve my gameplay quite a lot. So like I said, the first video here is going to be like a feeler and just to see how many people actually enjoy this in the next videos if people if you guys like these videos and actually learn from them i will you know put more effort into making these educational videos next time we'll be seeing each other is on thursday when i am going to be live streaming and maybe i will be uploading a video during the week the next Cruises of Blitz episode will be a Puerto Rico episode, so stay tuned for that. If any of you guys are interested in the Puerto Rico, I love the ship, and I have got a pretty fun episode planned for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Bob Lune, signing off.